got a fun little valley spotlight for you this Sunday. Oh, wowie. Yeah, look at the spread they put out at Tino's Italian Kitchen. I and not stress this enough. We do not ask for all of this food. We right. ask for a few things that they want to show off. Signature right? dishes. This place. Or everything they've got. We've never heard of it. Right. And when we were told to come here by a, a, a gentleman we just met and featured on the show last week, mm -hmm. um, I am blown away. Tino's Italian Kitchen in Niles. Homemade stuff, but it's fast. You can get fast, it and go or sit down and eat. Catering, we'll have all the details. And then um, I visited a place in Hubbard where these ladies, like, it's like, we, it's like weaving words together. Um, for like the sake of writing the story was so much fun uh -huh. because it's all about knitting, it's all about fibers, knitting it's all about yarn. creating all these beautiful things. It's a great little story. What's the name of this shop? It's called uh, Gwen Erin and it's in downtown Hubbard. Okay. So it's a fiber shop. I think that people my age and above think of TikTok as something little kids do and then they dance. Well, that's partly true, but not oh, really actually, anymore. But not anymore, absolutely it's not. It's big business for a lot of people, and we have a, an influencer that's on TikTok. All he does is make pasta and cook it. In remote locations across the country, he's doing really well, so we took a pause and visited with him a little bit about his success. Let's see here. Um, lots of eating on this show. I know. Okay, Mark, we're making um, Italian Sunday dinner, which will mm -hmm. be perfect because we air on Sunday. Right. And um, uh, ba Baker's Bakery. How about this lady's last name is Baker, and she opened up a bakery. Smart. Yeah, and it's really good. Yeah, and it's not far from here. It's no, it's not. near Cafe 422. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, the Youngstown Playhouse, we told you last time, is celebrating 100 years. Mm -hmm. And we met a gentleman there who is kind of like their archivist historian. And he had to go down. He decided he was going to write a book and do a documentary. Well, it turned into two books and a giant documentary. And he went down to the basement to look through the archives. And they had so much stuff that he wrote these this books like this thick. So we're going to, it won't be that long for you. <laughs> That's but, why it's the second part. Yeah. <laughs> like, so. Uh, we're going to talk really about that. An interesting really interview, neat. Michael. You did a really nice really job neat. with the Thanks. first one. I meant to tell you that. Thank you. Uh, let's what see else? I want to talk oh. about the contest? Or yes, do you want to well, save that to the I end? I want to talk about Kelly Warren in this yeah. gorgeous backyard that I'm sure right now when the leaves are changing and then eventually falling, it's just going to be a gorgeous thing. Mm -hmm. So wait till you see this. And then... You, you want to end Julie's? Oh, you want yes, to talk about that real quick? Of course. Yeah. Apples. So many apples. I made a really... So little time. Yeah, so little time. <laughs> Um, I made an apple crisp. You did? I did. Turned out great. Which is easier to eat than the pie. Right, that's you why I did it. You just scoop it out, put it on your sprinkle. dish. You can have as much as you I want. Enjoy. Right. Right. And it makes the whole house smell good. Yes. You can and get the whole thing there. Then we went to do cut because we noticed the leaves are starting to change. Some yes. of them are starting to fall. And Lisa mm -hmm. is giving away to one of our lucky viewers. A free leaf blower. Leaf blower. It's a leaf blower. So we're going to talk to you about the different types of blowers that they have. The fact that they, you know, you don't have to mix the oil with the gas to get the right thing. They have it all in one can for you. Yeah, that's helpful. And then we'll talk to you about the contest too. Is that it? That's it. Thanks to Steel Light. That's a show. Oh, I know. Thank you, Steel Light. Thank you for um, letting us show off these wonderful restaurants. This one. Homemade tartar sauce and fried fish on Fridays. They make the croutons for the wedding suit yes. themselves. That's how good it is. That's how you know it's good. All right. I guess we'll see you Sunday on Valley Spotlight. You bet. 10 a.m.